What is good? I mean, what is really good, my people? It is your UK, Trotter Brother, Dr. Blake, the darkest man around, and I will be doing the One Piece Q&A. So, get your fried chicken, get your Kool-Aid, and sit them cheeks down, because I will be doing or answering these questions, these 21 questions about One Piece. Without further ado, let me just get on with this. So, this pretty much came about with St. Kakashi saying that okay since they're doing a dbz q a i'm gonna do the one piece q a and i've been tagged to do both dbz and one piece q a which i will get around to doing both this this part this time around when i was decided what q a to do first i literally flipped the coin and it landed on one piece so i'm doing the one piece q a first so yeah let me just get on with answering these questions okay who is your favorite character and why my favorite character is Jafalga D. Waterlaw, his backstory, the things he's been through, the stuff that he said, and the morals of him as a character has got me attached to the law as a character and how smart he is and the way he strategizes and plans things. So Law is my favorite character in One Piece. Number two, who is your favorite villain and why? My favorite villain in One Piece is um, Don Quixote Del Flamingo. Del Flamingo is my favorite villain because he, he okay out of all the villains we've seen i don't i don't want to be biased or anything but he's the best in my opinion he's the best the backstory the things that he's been through and he's the most lovable villain in one piece in like all the other villains that we've seen in one piece all the other bad guys that we've seen in one piece majority of them people hate them like akainu people don't like akainu people don't like teach okay but there's there's, there's, there's people out there that obviously do like them but you know what i mean Del Flamingo is arguably the most loved villain in One Piece because of the savagery, seeing what he's been through and seeing the type of character that is that Del Flamingo is. He's such a great villain that he's my favorite villain in One Piece. Okay, what is your favorite quote or statement in One Piece? Okay, my favorite quote or statement is what Law said to Cavendish. That statement was touching. When Law was like to Cavendish, when Cavendish was trying to take him away, when the when um, Luffy was fighting um, Del Flamingo, Law was like, leave me here. If Luffy wins, I want to see it with my own two eyes how Luffy wins. I want to see it with my own two eyes how Luffy wins. If he loses, I go down with Luffy as well because I'm the one who brought him in this situation. I'm the one who brought him in this situation. That moment was touching as hell, bruh. That kind of shows you what type of guy Law is and what type of character he is. One of the reasons why I love Law because he still keeps, keeps to his morals even though he knew it was his fault for dragging Luffy into this mess, he's still stuck here and he's like, you know what, I'm going to see this the whole way through. And that's one of the reasons why Jafalga D. Waterlaw is my favorite character in One Piece. Okay, which, or wait, wait, which is your favorite female character, assuming you didn't have one? Or assuming a female character is not your favorite? Okay, my favorite female character is... Uh, Nami and Nico Robin. Nami... And Nico Robin is my favorite, my favorite um, female character in One Piece. Okay. Uh, what is your favorite fight in One Piece? Oh, there's a lot of good fights in One Piece. There is a lot of good fights in One Piece. Like I liked um, what's it, Chin Chow versus Luffy. That was a great fight. I liked um, oh, what was the fight? I liked parts of Law versus um, Del Flamingo when Law hits him with the in um injection shot gamma knife those moments were high i like this the, the couple of seconds with sanji and um San, sanji and virgo that bit was hyped that bit was hype as hell bro that bit got me like wow but if i have to pick one it's ought to be rob lucci and like rob lucci and luffy that's my favorite fight in one piece okay on to the next one what is your favorite episode I I, I, I I don't know. I, I can't answer that question. Um, because um, the thing about it is, One Piece um, has um, 700 plus episodes. So answer that question is always going to be hard because I technically I can't I can't I can't I can't answer that. I'm, I'm sorry, man. I'm, I'm sorry, fam. I can't I can't answer that question. But anyways, on to the next one. Okay. What is your favorite opening in One Piece? My favorite opening in One Piece is opening 17. That opening gets me hyped. That opening gets me pumped to see what's going to happen. That opening is such a great opening in One Piece. One of my, my favorite opening in One Piece. I can listen to that song all day for the most part when I'm in my mood. Yeah, that song is amazing. It gets me hyped and it gets me excited to watch One Piece when that opening was the opening. Opening 17 is my favorite opening. Okay, on to the next question. What is your favorite movie or special 
of an episode. Okay. Uh, my favorite movie is um, Film Z. Film Z. Like, hands down, Film Z. Film Z is my favorite is my favorite movie, Film Z. Okay. What is your favorite arc in One Piece? Okay. My favorite arc in One Piece is... Uh, I like to impel down. I like any lobby. I like Water 7. I like Punk Hazard. But I gotta pick that Ennis lobby though. <laughs> I gotta pick that Ennis lobby though because I went through the stage when I literally would just stay up and just watch. Just just watch the greatness. Or watch the greatness unfold. That is one piece, you know what I'm saying? Just watch it unfold. It was truly amazing. It was truly hype because I wanted to know what was gonna happen next. But anyways, that, that's my favorite arc. Okay, what is your favorite One Piece video game? My favorite One Piece video game, I played quite a few of them. I played like um, Grand Adventure to a little bit of Pirate Warriors, but I haven't played Pirate Warriors to the extent like, like uh, from my owner's point of view. I played it like around, around, around my friends and stuff like that. So I would have to say, in terms of it being the best, I can't really judge to be honest, because with um with Grand Adventure, it, it's, it's okay, but with um with um Pirate Warriors 3, it's hella fun. So if I were to put it there, I would say Pirate Warriors 3 would be my favorite, even though I'm not in the position to judge because I don't play I haven't played One Piece games like I played the DBZ games, like I played the Naruto games. So I would have to say Pirate Warriors 3. Because to be honest, there's not that many good One Piece games. But anyways, okay, next question. Okay. What if you were in the One Piece universe? Whose crew would you join and why? Straw hats, straw hats, the way they enjoy themselves, the way they have fun with each other, the way they just have each other's backs. They are the most diverse crew and the most interesting crew. I see my boy Luffy become king of the pirates. My cheeks would be, my cheeks would be on that crew, bro. My cheeks would be in on that crew. <laughs> what is the saddest moment in One Piece? The saddest moment in One Piece was either Ace dying, seeing um, Law's backstory. Yeah, it's probably Ace dying, like one of the two or Law's backstory. Both of them were sad as. And seeing Corazon die as well. Sad as. But okay. Um, next one. What is the most shocking moment in One Piece? The whole Sanji reveal. Seeing what Sanji's family is truly like. That moment to me was shocking. I didn't expect that to happen. I didn't expect to see that. But that moment was shocking with the whole Sanji situation. I'm not going to say what it is. But it's shocking. Okay. Uh, next question. What is the funniest moment in One Piece? Um, the funniest moment, oh my gosh. One Piece has a lot of funny moments. Like, for example, for me, when Luffy pushed that zombie back in, that was funny as hell. That, that part made me laugh. Or seeing Sa the look of Sanji's face when he realized that that guy was a woman. That crap had me dying. That was so damn funny. Like, the way Oda, like, uh, abuses Sanji, the way he treats Sanji was so funny. And One Piece has a lot of funny moments. Out of the big three, I say One Piece to me is the funniest by far. Like, there's no debate about that. I, w I would not argue about that. One Piece, for me, is the funniest um, anime out of the big three. Okay, next question. Uh, okay, oh yeah, I'm funny. I'm wait, and who's fun? Who's the funniest character? Usopp. Usopp, hands down, Usopp. And some, sometimes Sanji. Sometimes Sanji and Luffy. Usopp, Sanji, and Luffy. But mainly Usopp because Usopp is just he's just a joker. And yeah, okay, I'm on to question number 15. Uh, who is the most memorable? Wait, what is the most memorable moment? Most memorable moment in One Piece to me is oh, the ace, 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 dying is the most memorable moment because that impacted a lot of events that happened in the future of One Piece, that impacted a lot of moments that we will go on and see in One Piece. So, ace, or either. Luffy when he's fighting against the pacifista uh, when it to when he comes back in the time skip. Okay, next question What is your favorite ability in One Piece? Okay Favorite ability Hey Okay, my favorite ability in One Piece is um, Law's ability when he does gamma life ejection drop because his ability his ability in One Piece to me is the most diverse in my opinion But anyways, everybody has their own different opinions, but so to me it's Law do I own any One Piece merchandise? No, I do not own any One Piece merchandise. Do, I, do you prefer sub or dub? Me, personal preferences, I don't really care. <laughs> I don't really care 
because um, the Funimation dub to me, I like it. The sub to me is also good. So to me, I don't really mind. They're both good. And yeah, okay. What is the number one thing that makes you love One Piece? Is the usefulness of our characters, the diversity in abilities, the way everybody is useful, is useful, the way Oda uses side characters. That is truly amazing to see in One Piece. Okay. There's a lot of questions, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm getting pretty tired of answering this question, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> one thing you hate about One Piece. Okay, in terms of the anime, um, the recaps. The recaps are like are like are like a hundred years long. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you do, does One Piece take your number one spot in your top ten anime? If not, why? If not, where? Wait, if not, where? Okay. One Piece is my favorite anime of like out of all the animes out getting because when it comes to me and judging animes like animes can be like structured better animes can be generally better but to me it's all about being attached to the characters all about the whole enjoyment and one piece gives me that enjoyment gives me that laughing matter gives me that little bit of seriousness gives me that bit of of um comedy as well like I just enjoy One Piece so much it's just hard to describe and there's loads of characters that I love I like in One Piece as a whole but anyways, that's been the q and a It's been a long ass Q&A, I'm not gonna lie. It's been a long ass Q&A. But anyways, I'm gonna tag um, Rhyme Style. I don't think you'll do this, but anyway, I'm tagging your cheeks in Rhyme Style. If you somehow see this video, I'm, I'm, I'm tagging your ass in it. I'll tag Jadentastic, because I know you like One Piece. I will also tag Platinum TDX and the DBZ or Jasper Ties. <laughs> And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, some of these people might do it, some of these people might not do it. But anyways, leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comments section below about this. Like, if you have not done the Q&A, or if you're not a YouTuber that's going to do the Q&A, answer as much questions if you can, as you can in the comments section below. Because I want to know what you guys think as a whole. Because this has been your UK Trotler Brother, Dr. Blake, the darkest man around. And it is time for me to put down that fried chicken and the Kool-Aid and wrap up this video. So, please comment and subscribe. I know I say this all the time, but at the end of the day, I'm just saying, please leave a, yeah. <laughs> please leave a like rating if you enjoyed this video. And yeah, catch you next one, guys. Bye-bye. Work.